What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another Gun Guide. This is the series where I go into great detail with all the stats of every one of the weapons in COD World War II. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the ZK-383. Now in real life, this is a Czechoslovakian SMG. It fires a 9mm Luger round, and it has two different fire rates. Instead of a selector switch like we have in the game, in real life you'd put a weight on the bolt, and that would slow down your fire rate, so with the bolt weight on, it would fire at roughly 500 rounds per minute, but when you took that off, it would increase that fire rate to roughly 700 rounds per minute. In COD World War II, we get a damage profile of 30, 24, 19, and keep in mind this damage profile doesn't change when you change up your firing mode from that slow firing mode to the fast firing mode. What this means is it's always going to be a 4, 5, or 6 shot kill in core game modes. As for our rate of fire, just in case you guys haven't played with this SMG yet, we actually have two different rates of fire. You can change up the rate of fire from the slow mode to the fast mode. In slow mode, we get a rate of fire of 652 rounds per minute, which is identical to the Type 100 in the game currently. And in fast mode, we get a rate of fire of 822 rounds per minute, which is just a little bit faster than the Orso. The Orso would be the most comparable SMG here. This brings us to time to kill. Once again, we're going to have two different times to kill. In slow mode, our time to kill is 276 milliseconds up close, 368 milliseconds in the 5 shot kill range, and 460 milliseconds in the 6 shot kill range. As for the fast mode, in the 4 shot kill range, we get a 219 millisecond time to kill. In the 5 shot kill range, 292. And finally, in the 6 shot kill range, it's going to be 365 milliseconds. The biggest thing to keep in mind with this is in slow mode, you have a very slow time to kill. It's not going to be very competitive with many of the SMGs in the game. As for the fast mode, it's got a great time to kill up close in that 4 shot kill range, but we'll be looking at the ranges in a little bit, and you'll see that that range isn't very far at all. This brings us to headshots, and with headshots we get a multiplier of 1.1, which takes our headshot damage profile to a 33, 26, 20. What this means is within the 5 shot kill range, which is actually going to be the vast majority of your gunfights with this gun, just 2 shots to the body and 2 shots to the head will be a kill. So therefore, I would say headshots are somewhat useful on this gun, but you do have to hit 2 to the head instead of just 1 to the head for it to really make a difference. Moving on to our ranges, this is where this gun really falls down. As you can see here, I just wanted to show that the range values are identical between the slow and the fast fire mode. There is no difference whatsoever when you switch up between those two different modes. And our 4 shot kill range is extremely small. This is a very, very short 4 shot kill range, which means, like I said, the vast majority of your gunfights are going to fall within that 5 shot kill range, where your time to kill isn't really all that great. Just for a comparison, like I said, this gun is most similar to the Type 100 in slow firing mode and most similar to the Orso in fast firing mode. Having a look at their ranges, you'll see that they both have a very noticeably longer 4 shot kill range, and that's generally where you want to keep your fights with an SMG. Now the ZK-383 does beat them in the 5 shot kill range, but like I said, their time to kill isn't really all that competitive within that range. As for suppressor on this gun, it behaves the same as we would normally expect, although you can't take the suppressor off because you use that same button to switch between modes. So if you put suppressor on this SMG, it will always be on, but that'll reduce your range by 30%. And with advanced rifling, this only affects our 5-shot kill potential, and it will increase that range by 20%. Our 4-shot kill range is unaffected by advanced rifling. As for hardcore, once again, our one-shot kill potential is going to be the same regardless of our mode, and it is very short. It's equal to that four-shot kill range that we saw in core modes, and this also means that advanced rifling isn't doing anything at all to help you in hardcore modes. This brings us to hipfire, and the ZK-383 falls into the slightly worse category of SMGs when it comes to hipfire. It's still very, very similar to the standard SMG hipfire. It's just in that slightly wider category. As for idle sway, it's got pretty standard idle sway for an SMG, it's definitely noticeable, and it will affect your shots at those longer ranges. Keep in mind, once again, your idle sway doesn't change with your firing mode. This brings us to recoil, and obviously with this we're going to have two different recoil plots that we're going to be doing. The first one here is in the slow firing mode, and as you can see there, it's quite accurate and very easy to control. Now let's switch it over to the fast firing mode, and as you can see there, a very noticeable amount of recoil. It kicks generally really strong vertically, and it tends to lean a little bit to the right as well, but mainly vertical with the fast firing mode. Our magazine capacity with the ZK-383 is 32 rounds with 96 in reserve, and with extended mags we can bump that up to 48 rounds with 144 rounds in reserve. Our reload add time is pretty much average for the SMG category at 1.39 seconds. Our aim down sight time is in the faster category for SMGs at 160 milliseconds, and our sprint out time is also in the faster category at 160 milliseconds. As for our movement speed, this is standard for SMGs at 100%, and our aim down sight stretch speed is also standard at 72%. Getting into my favorite attachments, first off, extended mags. I really like using extended mags on most of my guns. It makes those like triples and quad kills a whole lot easier with your SMGs. 
Also, something I really like doing with this gun that I don't normally do with SMGs is I really like combining advanced rifling with suppressor. I feel like with this gun, I don't really care too much if my four shot kill range is reduced a little bit because most of my gunfights will fall within that five shot kill range, but this SMG does have an excellent five shot kill range and when you combine suppressor with advanced rifling, you only lose about 10% of your base range to your five shot kill range and therefore still most of your gunfights will be within the five shot range and that means with those two attachments together, it doesn't really have much of a noticeable negative effect on this gun, and it's really all positive because now you can stay off the radar. This has actually become one of my favorite SMGs to run with a suppressor, and I think that's now my preferred way of running it. Having said that, if I'm not going to be running it suppressed, which I will often do as well, I generally like to use something like steady aim so I can hit fire a bit more effectively, sometimes quick draw so I can snap on a target a little bit quickly because every millisecond counts when your time to kill is a bit on the slower side like with this gun. And sometimes as well, if I plan on using this in the fast firing mode more than anything, I will run it with a grip. This brings us to a couple class examples I have for you guys. First up, this is just a standard objective oriented SMG class that I really like running. You can basically swap the SMG out for any other SMG and it's a great class in my opinion. With this one, we're using the armor division with the scoped basic training skill, which helps us straight faster while aiming down sight, which is really helpful in a gunfight. It also eliminates that idle sway, which with this gun specifically, when you have in that slow fire mode, this one helps a lot for picking off those longer range kills. Our attachments on this are gonna be extended mag, steady aim, as well as grip. And I find those attachments are great in both fast as well as slow firing mode. Our secondary is a 9mm SCP with extended mags, lethal is a sticky grenade, and our tactical is a concussion grenade. Like I said, this one's pretty straightforward, just a nice balanced, objective oriented SMG class. Next up we have a specialist class, and with this one we're actually using it as our stealth specialist class. So we have mountain for our division, obviously basic training is going to be specialist. Our attachments are going to be extended mags, suppressor, as well as advanced rifling. And with our specialist training bonus, we're going to have scoped at 200 score, hunker at 400 score, and forage at 600 score. Once you reach your specialist bonus, you're going to be extremely stealthy, extremely fast, and pretty much unstoppable, and you can easily get V2 rockets with this class setup. As for the secondary lethal and tactical, this is all the same as my previous class, just kind of my go-tos. So with that, we're going to wrap up today's gun guide. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of the ZK-383 so far? Personally, I think it's kind of cool to have something different where you can switch between firing modes. It's nice and versatile as well, and I do like certain situations where when I'm getting into a longer range fight, I can easily swap it over to that slow firing mode, have a very accurate SMG, but if somebody gets up close to me or I plan on going indoors or something, I can swap it back over to that fast firing mode. So the versatility is great with this. However, the time to kill statistically just doesn't keep up with most of the other guns in this game. As a result, if you find yourself against similarly skilled players on the other team, you're probably going to have a hard time if they're using pretty much any other gun aside from this one. That's not to say that the gun is terrible, it's just not quite as good in my opinion as the other SMGs in the game. As always, if you guys missed any of the previous episodes of Gun Guides, I've covered every gun in the game that we have so far, I will leave a link to the playlist down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.